today's dog fooding video. Let's see how we can create a custom token in the Polkadot network. We'll do it all within five minutes with no coding and in just a few clicks. Before we begin, we have to make sure that we are connected to the correct Asset Hub instance. This is on Polkadot and Parachains. Under Asset Hub, pick any of the RPC providers and switch. Um, then we have to make sure that we have an account with some free dot available, which we will use to register a new asset or token. Um, once we're sure we do, then we can go into assets and uh, take note of any free ID in the list. So like you can see that here, the number 14 is missing, so we'll pick 14. Under create asset, we will pick the account from which we want to create this, and then we can input all the values that we're asked for. So um, the name of the token, the ticker that'll show up on the coin listing sites, the number of decimals it can, it can have, so how deep a fraction it can, it can be. The minimum balance is the minimum that you can have in your account before the system decides it's worth zero, basically. Um, so I'll put 0 0.1 here, and the asset ID is that free ID that we noticed before. In this case, 14, you will pick another number that is available. These roles are, you can read the notes on the side. Um, these are basically like different types of admins for your coin. You can always change that later. And you could even set it to a null address, to nothing, so that you can basically relinquish control over your token and make it permissionless. Um, once you click approve, your asset will be created. You have to wait a little bit for the token to show up. And when it does, it will show up under the ID in the list that you have picked. Um, this very same line will then have the mint option, which will actually allow you to uh, create these tokens. So right now you've basically created just a placeholder, but now you can actually create the tokens under this placeholder. So I'm going to create a thousand tokens here. Um, it can actually, you can actually pick where you want to mint them to, like to which account, but I'm going to mint them to myself here uh, so that I can send them out, I can distribute them. Uh, once I do that, I have to make sure that the receiving account has some dot in their account. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, so now we're waiting for the tokens to get minted. And once they are, they will show up as just, just here. Um, bleep, there we go. There's a thousand leap tokens now. And so if we want to send it, we go to assets balances, and then we can find it in the drop down menu here which will show us all the accounts that we have that have some balance of the token that we can manage. Now, if I try to send this to my uh, default Talisman account, this is actually going to fail, as you will see. And this happens because the Talisman account doesn't actually have any dot. Now, uh, this token that we've just created is not sufficient. Sufficiency on a token means that it can be sent and used um, by paying for its own transaction fees with its own balance, which means that you would pay for a transaction fee of leap in leap. Uh, it also means that you don't have to have a minimum amount of DOT in order to receive the token. However, this is not a sufficient token. This is a spam protection mechanism, so people just don't create, you know, uh, millions of, of shit coins that you can just send around. Um, you can see here that this is the failing event. You can inspect it in the in the explorer. You, you just cannot create it because we do not have the existential deposit of DOT on that receiving account. So this is easy to fix. Um, you just send some dot to the target account and then try sending the tokens again. On a system level, this, this can also technically be fixed um, by, by making a token sufficient. However, this is a very difficult process. It requires a referendum. Um, it requires a democracy vote. And um, generally, you are at the mercy of you know, the dot holders to decide whether or not your token is worth uh, the free transactions, uh, well, free, technically free transactions on this chain. Um, this is usually reserved for high impact tokens like stable coins like USDT, USDC, and so on. Um, so now that we have, uh, you know, seeded the, the target account with some DOT, we can try sending Leap again, and this time it will work. Once the tokens go through, once it's sent, uh, this very screen will also show that other account now because that other account will also have some leap tokens. So now you will you will see the full tally here um, just in a bit. There we go. So you have two accounts now. One has 100 and one has 900 leap tokens. And that's how you make your own token on Polkadot's Asset Hub. Enjoy!